Hey, yo, what the deal, man? It's yours truly, Stewie. You know what I'm saying? Trapping to the Trap House is a special edition. You know what I'm saying? I got King Snow checking Big in. Snow. You know what I'm saying? Big Snow. Yeah. Everybody's doing business, want to get money with him. His name is Mr. Jenkins. Yeah. Respect it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What's going on, man? Come on, man. We here, baby. We here. You know, big you feeling, album man? dropping tonight at 12 a.m. Um, oh, man, you everybody. interviewing me, I'm interviewing you. What, what, what are we doing? Uh, you know, I'm pretty good at this. You ready? I'm, I'm, ready. <laughs> I'm ready. You know, I'm pretty good at this. So look, this is my thing. You know what? I, I've been I, I've been raised on you. You know what I'm saying? You've been my big homie for since I was in St. Louis and everything we had going on and those days when you know what I'm saying the smoke was a little different, the times a little different, and everything. I never in my life, even when I prayed for it in my dreams, to see this day happen. Two of the biggest artists that influenced trap music, two of the biggest artists that you know what I'm saying, changed people's lives, made people feel a type of different way, you know what I'm saying, got into people's spirits, you know what I mean, had movements that never had been matched before. Right. Snowman and Gucci. Yes, sir. On one platform. Yes, sir. What, what God do I gotta thank? What happened, man? What's what's going on? Yeah, thank, thank them all, you know? Thank them all. I mean, it's, it's time, baby. It's, you know, it's about, it's about, it's about the win. You know what I'm saying? It, you know, it, it was about the win and the how, and you know, shit. This this platform just, you know, it it, it made it possible. Mm. You so you know, instead of doing it in the streets, we're gonna do it here. So I definitely gotta applaud you and respect you as a man, both y'all, both y'all fellas, especially everything that's going on in hip hop. You know what I'm saying? With these young people, these young men dying every other day, police killing us, we killing each other. For y'all to get together and do this is very very powerful and it says a big statement for our community. Hip hop community and African American community, period. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know how pivotal this is, man. I mean, listen, bro. I mean, you know, the Super Bowl's been here, but I think this is a bigger. You feel mm. me? <laughs> I think this, this is, is bigger. Than like, next. This is bigger than this. Is me, I had to be like, hey, Floyd. This right. Is bigger than any you ever had yeah. in your life. You should have got at us. You should have got at me. You know, this he is let, bigger. He you should have did it. He's in jail. Uh -huh. So. <laughs> So, so tell me about this, man. This catalog is amazing. You know what I'm yeah. saying? A lot of people have things to say, you know what I'm saying, about um, both y'all. Everything I've been getting is that it's going to be a, it's, it's gonna be a tie. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um, how do you feel? I feel, I mean, one thing, you, you, said, you said the C word. You feel me? Like, and I get that. You know, a lot of artists have catalogs. They do. But my mm. shit real life. You feel what I'm oh, saying? Hold on my, my shit real people. You know what I'm saying? My shit is real, 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 real prison time. You know what I'm saying? My shit is real, you know, real life. Like, you know, I, I represent, you know, the, 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 the ones who really been through it for real. And, and that's the difference for me. Like, I'm not bringing my catalog, I'm bringing real life. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I'm bringing them, them days in the club where people recite every word, you know, Three, four, five thousand strong, and for three, four, five hours, you know, just one mixtape. I'm bringing that. You know. What was your mind at when you realized that you were as big as you are? Like, where, where, where were you at? Like, when did you realize? At what point in your life you was like, we didn't put out a million mixtapes for free? I'm, you got to think about it. For me, like the mixtapes was I went build. I went giving away mixtapes. I was building my brand. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like I had, to, I had, it had to be tested. People had to know that it, it was worth it. it. It's almost like coming through the hood, passing out sample packs. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you got to, people got to know, people got to know that uh, it, it's, it's the real deal. Right. You know, and for me, that that's that was the that was the uh, that was that Obama campaign, like the leg work, touching the people. You know what I'm saying? Like getting out there, people people got CDs and they remember me giving them to them personally. You know what I'm saying? People still got. Trap or die CDs mm. that 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 um people still got trap trap or die CDs that you know that got them out of my hand out of my Ferrari you know what I'm saying you know at the club outside and, and, and Jeezy was out there you know what I'm saying like that's real to me bro like that's grassroots you know I, we, I, we locked in forever I, for sure I, I speak to a lot of different artists and I think that we live in a generation now where it's a microwave generation. Right. You know, they want everything right now. Um, I even try to tell some of the young cats, like at one point you couldn't get into contact with DJs over the internet. 
You had right. to go pull up on them and see them. Yeah, you had to pull up on them at the club yourself. Tell them, tell them about, speak on that hard work for new artists coming up because you also got a new position, Def Jam. <laughs> Shouts out to uh, Def Jam. I don't even know what the hell it I read it, Ron sent yeah. it to me. I don't right. know what the hell this uh, position is called. I mean, I'm vice president. In, in, in other okay, words, I'm, I'm okay. next to the guy. You know, you will talk okay. about that. You gotta see. You gotta see uh, Snow. Um, okay. You said tell you what what what, what the work I, means to the new. I artist. mean, as far as ethic, because you like you said, you came from a different era, and right. I think sometimes like um, I try to stress to everybody like staying 100 and being the same person for your whole life is is very important. Stand for your home morals, having integrity right. is. Yeah. is it's all it's all it's, it's, it's all about integrity. But if you don't come in with integrity, you can't leave with none. Mm -hmm. So for me, you know, it's 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 easier to it's easier to blow. You know what I'm saying? You pushing the button, you uploading. And like I said, I was passing out CDs. I was buying two, three hundred thousand CDs at a time mm -hmm. to get them out. You know what I'm saying? And, and spending my hard earned money. Um, but the reality of it is, you know, it's it's easier to blow, but it's harder to sustain. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And you got a couple cats that get in, they they consistent because that's who they really are. And, and you see the mm. ones that stick out. Like you see the NBA young boys, you know what I'm saying? You see the little dirks, you see the ones that you know that they really are who they are, and they just got in the game at a good time. And it's just like, you know, you can upload um anything. That don't mean people gonna believe you. You know what I'm saying? Right. You gotta be consistent, you know what I mean? So, and it's so easy to come up with a record, you know, and I get it if it's a hustle, but if you want to be in this and you wanna be forever. You gotta have a different approach. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't just get in this for the quick burn. It's gotta be. It's, it's gotta be the long run. You know. So, speaking of long run, I think I got here when I was like, you know what I'm saying? I've been here for like 16, 17 years. Yeah, I remember the day you got here. I remember when you was I, in I, St. I, Louis, I, and you I told me, you said, "Come on now, I'm going to Atlanta." I said, "You need anything, little bro? Holler at me." You Guess what? It? I'm just. It, it's blessed as a black man. I say thank you because you always gave me enough confidence to say that. You know what? If I ever fell off, Jesus said he gonna give me a show to make sure I'm on my feet and make sure I ain't never gotta worry about feeding my kids. And Lord bless it that I ain't never had to call you for that favor. Right. You know what I'm saying? But being in the game this long, we talk about longevity. You know what I'm saying? This is I've been here 16 years. St. Louis, we probably met 18 years ago. Right. To be so successful to drop another album, to be so influential, like right. how? How? Again. That's that grassroots, you know what I'm saying? Like when you when you touch people and you get out there yourself and you're on the front line with them and, and, and they experience that or heard about that through a loved one or somebody they respect, they ride with you forever, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I think to have a career like this, I've done and, and, and did what I said I was gonna do. I said I was, I was a corporate thug, it's obvious to see. You see what I'm saying? Like that's, that's what mm -hmm. I'm doing. I said we was gonna evolve that's what's going on. You know what I'm saying? I said I was gonna keep my integrity and stay solid. That's what I did. Even, even when it got to the point where, you know, the masses were, you know, believing things that they was hearing, I ain't break fold, you know, or being. I stayed me, dog. You know what I'm saying? You seen you here, you seen the history. You know the difference from when you got here and where we at now. It's been so many stories and so many things, but that's because I'm attached to the people for real. It's not, it's not just about music, it's about who I am as an individual. And for me, it's like, the only way you're gonna have longevity is you keep your integrity. When I got up this morning, looked at myself in the mirror, I had to go tell him, damn baby, you're looking young, <laughs> you're feeling good. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you in boxing shape, champ. You know what I'm saying? I see you, baby, I see you. You know, I'm looking and feeling better than I did, you know, even then. So that, that was my, that was my, that's what I was preaching. So I'm doing that. I'm living by example. Like I'm not going back and forth about what I stand for, and that's the jeopardy because people mm -hmm. see it and they be like, even if he ain't got no music out right now, damn, I just seen Young do something that was dope. Young doing a talk show. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Who would ever thought that? You know what I'm saying? Young, young doing podcasts. Who would ever thought that? And it ain't, it, it, it's because I'm pushing the envelope. We got to be bigger than rappers. We got to be bigger than bigger than DJs. We got to be entrepreneurs. You know what I'm saying? We, we can't, because at the end of the day, when I'm on my deathbed, the last thing I want to say, uh, my, my dude, is I regret not doing something that I want to do because I was trying to keep it real with somebody other than myself. And that's the, that's the longevity. You feel Sound me? Sound like legacy. Yeah. Sound like legacy. Yeah. Legacy, 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 legacy. It's new album. Tell me about it. Man, it's special. It's special, bro. Mm. It's special. Um, it's gospel. It's real. And when it comes out tonight at 12 a.m., the recession too, they gonna feel me. 
Cause see the one mm. thing about it, I might got paper, I might have did some big things, you know what I'm saying? I I, I, I might have got some promotions, you know, but I ain't never forgot about my people. I ain't never mm. forgot about the struggle. I ain't never seen what we went, we going through or what we went through and turned my head the other way and said that don't apply to me. You feel that's, what I'm saying? And that's what that's this album is. It's, it's, it's real. For the first time, they're gonna get some, they, they, they're gonna get something they can feel because that's what I put in. And the first recession we were celebrating, this time we fight back. We standing tall, you know what I'm saying? We just changed Georgia into a blue state. Come on now. Talk I mean, we make, that means we making, that mean we making way, baby. We getting progress. And that's what it's mm-hmm. about, progress. Next. Come on now. Look where we at. Talk. You feel me? Talk now. Yeah. And this is a mean move, man. Like, I don't know who 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 part of the coaching staff over there now. Who have Jeezy coaching his stuff? It's like Tom Brady coaching Tom Brady now. Right, you feel me? <laughs> talk that talk, you know, man. Come on now, look, look, yeah. look, look check, me out, check me out. You, you get a new position in Def Jam. You do verses. Right. You know what I'm saying? That drop an album at the same time. That's a mean. Ooh, right. I'm saying that's a combination. That's a combo. Right. It's a but pop you know, combo now. You know, you know me, Nick. That's why they hired me over there. Come know on that. now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Talking about, you about, you you talking about the you same dude that pressed up, you know, 300,000 mixtapes because I knew. <laughs> I believed in me. I knew right there to there. They just got to feel me. They just got to hear me. They're going to believe me because it's the truth. Tell, tell me about this album. Now. Who on this album, man? What we looking for, man? I mean, more so in the who's on it, I feel like it's, it's the production. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's the tone. It's the texture. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's ghetto gospel. It's, it's, it's when your uncle picked you up and rolled you around the corner in that Buick Regal and you, and, and, and you saw him, you know, be, looking up to him like, man, he, he, he's strong, he's solid, this, 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 that. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like the world needs that more than they know it for the simple fact that, you know, if everybody's saying the same thing, who's saying something different? Who's standing for something different? You know what I'm saying? And you ain't, you ain't gonna get that from nothing but a special individual. And I tell people all the time, music has never been my gift. Mm. Leading my people, always been my gift. Thanks. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I never made another song, I guarantee you, if I knew the way, some people gonna rock with me. So t- tell me this, tell me this, because a lot of people might say like, Jeezy ain't the same Jeezy was. But I feel like, as I tell a lot of black people, I think that's what our problem is that right. we, we we don't understand progression as men, as black men. Right. If you still the same that you was yesterday, then you ain't progressing, you might as well be dead. I ain't come this far. Stay, you I ain't come this far to stay the same. That's crazy. Come on, you know that. Come I ain't on, come this far to stay the same. Man, the circumstances, the, the, that I, the circumstances, the things that I came from, we don't even see this, bro. Come we on, we don't even know this, Nicks. We don't know it. We don't see it. You know what I'm saying? Like talking, sitting down with presidents. You know what I'm saying? Talking mm. to heads of labels. Multiple, pre- multiple presidents. Multiple presidents. Go ahead, keep going, you know keep like, you know, <laughs> I can get anybody on the phone at any time. And that's not the cap. I'm just saying, like, that's what it's about. We need resources, dog. Like, that's what it's about. You got to evolve. If somebody telling you, if your big homie telling you the same, he a damn lie. Mm. That ain't it, bro. Like, if you, if, if I see you 10 years from now, you doing the same thing, bro, more power to you. You know what I mean? I, I can't, I can't, I can't interact with you because I don't know if I even trust that anymore. I know who I was 10 mm. years ago. And right. I want to trust me then, you feel me? Mm-hmm. And so at the end of the day, it's just like, I ain't getting this to prove no point to nobody, dog. This is my legacy. This is my destiny. And this is why I risked my life, took penitentiary chances, been through the things that I've been through and had so many close calls because I wanted to be me. I wanted to be this. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? I ain't asked for nothing else. So that's what I want. You get what you want. That's on you. I respect that. If you want to be the same and you're going you gonna, you gonna to thug it until you're gone, love. It's still in my heart. Come on but, you know, in my mind, I, I got a bigger vision. You know what I'm saying? And by the way, I got to lead the way for the simple fact that I'm the one that put us in this position anyway because a lot of cats wouldn't even be in the rap game if they ain't see somebody like me come from the streets and do it with ease. Come like, he did talk, that. Talk you feel what I'm saying? Like, I could do it. He did it. I was just standing on the block with young. I ain't never seen nothing like this. But I respect that. But I, now I got to show us that we can be bigger than just that. We ain't got to just be on a label. We can run it. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? We can sit in the boardroom. We can have the conversations. You know what I'm saying? I can open. I, you know, I'm. A, I'm. A, if we can't get your budget open, holla at your dog. Come on now. You know, Refresh I know what you're going out here in these streets. I see you. I'm gonna go talk to them. You know, X Y G. He'll tell you the same thing. Come on now. You know, they 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 had my boy on the shelf, man. He from the West Coast. Ain't nobody ever mm. blew up on the West Coast that wouldn't attach to Jimmy Iovine, Suge Knight, or Dr. Dre. Come on, man. Okay, you talking now. about a Georgia boy came through and made that happen. 
Mm. One conversation. You feel me? Mm. <laughs> Straight yeah. up. And I'm just being, I'm just being honest. Cause you my guy, I'm just being honest. So sometimes, you know, we as people, we look at what we look at the right now. And then where you at right now is where you at right now. That's just where you at. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So if you if you inspire to be better, you inspire to be great, and you inspire to add value to people, then that's your prerogative. So you can't judge mm -hmm. me for wanting to be the best version of myself that I can possibly be because I'm not trying to be more like you. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and I respect that. But at the same time, when it's all said and done, we're going to only live as long as we live. Then my contribution to the world is going to be what I left. And when people remember me, they're going to remember me as somebody who was fearless, who was mm -hmm. by this issue, Mm -hmm. They were taking no for an answer. Okay. They took it as far as I can take it. Th that's what they're going to remember about me, Jay, next. Straight up. Hey, recession two. Merch yeah, is out. good night tonight. Good night is going down versus tonight. Wait. Yeah, the versus the night. The city, the city on fire, baby. I feel like I feel like this is the Ali fight all over again. The rumble in the jungle. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Hey. Salute to you, King, man. Salute to you. I appreciate you. We thank you. We go to your flowers right now. Everything right. you've done for the culture, done for the city. This is big for Atlanta, big for the Georgia, period. Especially we've been going blue. We have all eyes on us tonight, man. Again, in during, during the pandemic, all yeah. eyes on how, Atlanta. How so we appreciate you. How about that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If we're not going to do it live, we're going to do it virtual, King. There it is. We're going to get for it done. Sure. Love, my G. But you already know. Hey, and I'm coming to get that thousand, too, so I can bet it tonight. Yeah, I owe you. I do. Yep. That's on TV. That's yep. live. That's on the internet. Right, I'm, yeah, I'm coming for it. <laughs> and I need that. But show, right. man, DC, man, Trap House. You know what I'm saying? Trap House, we did anything, man. Yeah, big story. Yeah, salute. Love. My God. Yeah.